Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Fallout 4 with me, Olathrix, and of course, welcome to a radiation storm. In today's episode, we are going to be continuing along with the railroad's main quest line, up until the point, of course, until they ask us to pick a side in terms of the main factions. So right now, we're doing underground undercover. Essentially, we need to find the password so that our little traitor in the Institute can sort out all of the doors, opening them for the synths to get free, with one giant burst of synths going to the surface rather than one at a time, which hasn't been overly successful up until this point. And we need to go to Cambridge Polymer Labs. So let's go right there, let's see if there's any synths defending it. And if there are, there's a good chance we can simply walk through them, as right now we are friendly with the Brotherhood, the Institute, the Railroad, and the Minutemen. We are the ultimate neutral party. And actually, the weapon you see in front of you right now, the Broadsider, is part of a quest line I want to do very soon as well, which I've recently had a look into on my alternate account. As like I said last time, I have been playing a few accounts, a few different characters, just to get a feel for different styles of play, a melee character, and a heavily intellectual character, all that sort of stuff. And I came across a giant boat, which I haven't done the quest line for, as if I come across a quest line I haven't done before, I simply ignore it as I want everything to be done for the first time on camera. But that is a reward I know of because it ended up getting spoiled to me for something later on, which I definitely want access to. Okay, now I can breathe and stop talking. Incoming the Polymer Labs any second now. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Thank you. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure, the world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one, do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Yeah. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Yeah. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Um, no, not really. But at the same time, I feel like we'll miss something if we don't say yes. Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. Please note that employee enthusiasm is factored into your yearly reviews. Yay. I'm sure we'll be here forever, yeah? The sky looks very pretty through here. Please find an open seat, and we will begin the presentation. Is that actually going to work? Please find an open seat, and we will begin the presentation. I have found an open seat. The Please Genesis begin the Cambridge presentation. The Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham, and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Their research into nucleostrictive and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall of 2073. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Ooh. Prime Project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship with the Giant military robots always good. and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps build a better America. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Yay. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. Complimentary drinks. Excellent. Well, you plan on using I would like a vodka, please. That creeped me out a little bit. Okay, did not expect there to be a skull in there. Mole rat meat, Nuka-Cola, uh... 
cherry and quantum, my favourite flavours of Nuka Cola. Excellent. Now that did take a long time to loot, but there we go, we fully looted the kitchen. They can actually carry on. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. Something tells me we're either going to see synths or ghouls. Please enter the clean room. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Consequently, like my staff will not be allowed to leave the labs until the piezonucleic lining project has been completed. Piezonucleic lining Please project. report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolham, for specific research assignment. Starting decontamination sequence. So, did I decide I had to escape this? Optional, find another way to escape. Or complete the research project. Oh. Um. That was easy. That looks suspiciously like a ghoul. That definitely looks like a ghoul, okay. Hello. What is that? Unidentified sample numbers. Eventually, there we go. Just, okay. Chemical reagent. Oh. Chemical reagent required fabrication. So you can actually try and figure out the thing they were doing then. Isotope sample? No, we still need the isotope. Okay. Oh, I see. It's the hold of the isotope. What is I thought this? the sample was actually inside there or something. And what are you then? Nucleo Strictive Lining Project and Internal Mail Relay. And this is by Dr. Erika Elwood Woolham. Oh, Woolham. Okay. Now, Bergam, I'm not letting John play Tyrant any longer. The isotope containment is leaking, and he still won't let us out. I've gotten through his updated security subroutines, and it's only a matter of time till I get control of the facility defences. He's been so busy trying to keep me out of the clean room controls, he probably hasn't realised that by triggering a facility breached sweep, all the doors will open to allow the robots access. That's what he's trying to do then. We're fighting our way out, and then I'll deal with your husband. Will. Your husband? Oh, John. Okay, I see. So the person logged into this is the wife of John. Okay. Erika, I've sent an explanation to the team, but I need you... Is it Erika? Yeah, it is. Okay. I need you to know what is actually going on. Please do not share this with anyone else. It may start a panic. This morning I got a call from Colonel Kemp, and he told me to keep our team in the lab. But before I could ask, he hung up. The sound you heard outside was an anatomic bomb going off. It seems to have hit southwest of the city. The phone lines have been jammed, but I found a way to reach Kemp's liaison, and he informed me that they could only afford a detail to escort us to safety if we have the vital military assets assets or intelligence, if we have vital military assets or intelligence. That is why we need to get the project finished. I love you, and I know you can do this. John. Okay, so John isn't actually as evil as first thought. Still a bit deceptive, but I can't really blame him. Telling all the lab workers that, oh by the way, the, the giant bomb's gone off and all your family and loved ones most likely dead, very low chance they'll work very effectively. Being the tyrant and forcing them to work without telling them the, the utter truth probably would get the work done faster and thus secure their safety. And I'm guessing this is the public version. The mandatory overtime. Good morning, everyone. I know you've all been here overnight and everyone is tired, but I need everyone to push through just a little bit longer. Dr. Elwood Woolham has said that you are very close to cracking the problem with the nucleo-strictive lining project, and I have a good feeling that today will be the day. Along with our normal snacks, I've sent a runner to Slocum Joe's for coffee and donuts. We'll be ordering... 
Spookies later this afternoon. I also just cut off the phone with Colonel Kemp and he said there may be some training exercise happening around town today. So if you hear what sounds like tanks and gunfire, don't panic. It's just a drill. Okay then. Well that's changed my mood about everything quite a bit. So what's in here then? The actual project itself. Huzzah! Everything is blue. Okay, so like I was saying before that cut, Let's carry on with this then. The project thesis, thermal dissipation, tensile strain, traps, and we're so close. So let's go with the thesis first then, shall we? Only makes sense. Initial studies have led us to hypothesize that by taking a known piezoelectric material, or however it's actually pronounced, PZT, and properly applying a polymer of gold and lithium hydride that a localised conversion of ionising radiation to electrical energy might be achieved. This method of compact electrical harvest may prove suitable for application to pre-existing power armour currently in use by the US Armed Forces. That's actually pretty cool, so I guess their, co their idea is to put something into a power suit, into the power armor, which can turn radiation into power. Just regular electrical power. That's kind of cool. Honestly. I wonder if we'll get anything out of this, perhaps. I've got, I've got a feeling we're going to find fusion cores. That's a lot of reading. Okay, I'm not going to read this out loud, I'm just going to skip ahead in a second. If you would like to read any of these, please feel free to pause and then read it yourself. And so we move on. Tensile strain. So, now, trapped and we're so close. We've been trapped in the lab for days now and tensions are running high. The team is fractured and falling apart. They don't know what is going on outside and have started making attempts to escape the lab. While I was sleeping, they managed to cut a hole through the thinner interior wall of the clean room, I guess that's where we just walked through, but have been unable to break through the hardened outer wall. Will started talking with some of the others about going at the problem from a more oblique angle, which got me thinking about the thermal dissipation problem when it dawned on me. If we change dosing pattern so it isn't producing nano holes perpendicular to the surface, but instead at an angle, we might be able to reflect the most direct radioactive particles and trapping only those coming in at an oblique angle to the material. We would achieve a lower energy harvest, but the heat dissipation issues might be solved. Tom, Mary and I are going to gather the samples needed to try it. And there was one more I believe, we're so close. We've been, we, uh, we've been unable, there we go, to gather the samples needed to try the new dosing pattern. Will has locked himself in one of the labs and has been attempting to hack into the administrative systems. When we try to get the U-238 we need from the iced up containment, he locked it down, leaving Mary stranded inside. He said he is going to set the facility defense systems so that it looks like the lab has been breached. This will unlock the clean room, but will also activate the automated defenses, which will see us as attackers. He means to fight his way out, but that's suicide. He's the only one in the lab with military training, and we don't even have real weapons. I've tried to tell him that we can complete the project, that we have an answer now, but he refuses to see reason and doesn't believe John will actually let us out. We've managed to pull down part of the ceiling in C1, which will let us into the utility crawl space, and that was the hole we saw out there. It can't get us out, but it should be able to to get us above the lab Will has barricaded himself in. I don't like it, but we have to get the drop on him. Okay. So we pretty much know what's going on then. Awesome. Cambridge Polymer Lab. The cutting edge of decrepit. Well, it is now. Hello. Oh, that's the isotope that was talking about. I'm guessing this is the test area. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, all from earlier. What are we talking about? I, I had a bit of a break, can you tell? Okay, yeah, I know what's going on now. So if we find the reagent, we already have this here. Maybe we can, well, yeah, finish off the test, which is actually a quest now, isn't it? There we are, complete the research project. I'll pop that on as well. Okay, so if I use this now, what would it say? Scan loaded reagents. Scan complete. Hydrochloric acid. Okay. 
Input Reagent 1, Lithium Hydride, and Gold. As you might imagine. Okay, well, we'll just keep a, a look out for the stuff then, and we can go back to what we were doing originally, trying to find that code. Definitely ghouls. I know! Ghouls are so not talkative. This gun is a pleasure to use. Absolutely no recoil. Just aim and fire. No thinking involved. Hey, there you are. Well, hello. I found some. Ow. This is normal for other Excuse me. I need some lithium hydride and gold. I'd like some gold. So much aluminum. Yes. Oh, hello. And we have another sample here, so I guess we're going to have to check them all to see which one's which. Oh, hello, an isotope chamber. Likeness zero. Excellent. There we go. Yay! That wasn't a good noise. That's why it wasn't a good noise, okay. So, who are these ghouls then? Are these ghouls the same people as we were just reading about, or are they different people? I'm guessing this is the door it just opened. Hello! I don't like you having legs. It did, I agree. How many stim packs do we have left? Oh, yeah, we, we can still waste our stim packs, that's fine. Of course, now we're on the harder difficulty, our health regen is very slow. Dying radiation poisoning here. I'm guessing. There we are. So now I'm hoping we've already found the gold and the lithium. I'm guessing you're Will. Unless that was Will. That could have been Will. Will was the one that barricaded himself, yeah? By the way, let's see what's in here then. So it's definitely not that. Oh, good, it's, it's now actually called hydrochloric acid. What are you both? Neither! Darn it. But we have now got this. So, nope, not tungsten and not gallium. Neither of those are useful for us in the slightest. So I'm going to assume ours are at the top. Ooh. Lots of very scary stuff in this place. I'm guessing that just opens that, so let's go straight for the safe. Got it. Yes, no, yes, 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 yes. Hello! Lots of ghouls. Darn it. Right. That's expert. How, how, how am I supposed to get in? Oh, do I have to go through the duct, they say. I remember reading something about going through the ducts in the ceiling. There we are. There's the ceiling. wonder where else this goes first. Hello. Where's this? Oh, we could have gone here as well then, apparently. Or simply walked up. Ooh, hello, you found a sample. 
Could have walked up here as well. But for now, let's just get back up. Let's get the code sorted so that we can focus on this little mini quest we found here. Down we go. Another sample. Hello! Radioactive containment password. Where do I need that? Num 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 num. Where is the password going to be? There we go, we've got the password, excellent. Facility defense systems. Don't really want to do that, honestly. Oh, wait, no, I need to do that to get out, don't I? Done. More stuff I need to read. I don't really care too much, though. So then this... Wait, this isn't John's room, is it? Why does it have access to everything? Unless it was. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if those two samples are what we need. I'll go back and read that terminal afterwards. I just want to actually check this out first. Wait, didn't we get two? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure we got two of them. Golden Cobalt, damn it. Okay, back hunting for samples. That's one more then to have a quick check. Hopefully, this will be the correct one. And. Yes, there we go. Do the thing. Ooh, armor. I'm guessing we collect it here. Yes. Radiation exposure, exposure rather, increases action point refresh speed. Model E. Okay, so what's it in comparison to our current set? Not as good, not really worth it, especially since I've already got the jetpack. But if we can put the jetpack on this, it might be worth it. Although saying that, it'll also be a different kind of set than the one we're wearing, so it'll stick out quite a bit. Still pretty cool, though. Still pretty cool indeed. And with that, let's go and read this terminal, and then we can go back and hand them the code. So there we are, internal mail. Well, Will, this is insane. Even if you manage to hack into the ad administrative controls, do you know what will happen if you trigger the security breach? Yes, the doors through the clean room will open, but the first thing through them will be a wave of robots to kill every living intruder in the lab. Even if we manage to get past them, there are also the turrets. Remember the ones right there in the lab. If you do this, you are more likely to get us killed than set us three. That's from Erica. Wolfred! Do you think I wouldn't catch on to what you are doing? And this is from... John. I got a network alert from the moment you took control of the isotope containment. You may have been the best hacker on campus back at CIT, but that was years ago, and while you were busy up in Alaska pretending to be a soldier, we had the best programmers working on our security system. I told you weeks ago that I'll let you all out of the lab once the research is complete. Locking Erica and the rest of the team out of the isotope containment just to spite me doesn't accomplish anything. Then the mandatory overtime one from before, and in deleted mail we have, what are you doing, you're going to get us killed, 
can't cut through. I'm with you about the new dosing pattern, which I can't actually click on any. Okay. Okay, now I get who's doing what. That just took me a second longer than it should have. Mines! Since when was that there? I must have walked over that several times. Or at least, in the area. Now, why do I need that radiation password? We've already been in the radioactive room, haven't we? Is there any reason why we need that password we got? I'll have a look around, see if I can find anything, and if I can't... Oh, hello, Molly. Not very good against that. There we are. Director's keen to flame a fuel. Apparently we have new enemies here as well. Oh yeah, of course the turrets. <laughs> the last one is back round there, okay. So, back to looking for why we needed that password. After having another look around, it seems like the radioactive containment area was just the area we got the isotope from, so nothing special there. Now I've just looted that room, I've just came up here, and it seems like there's a whole nother area, and this is where I would have ended up working, if I'd actually passed the test, and not tried to be killed by Molly. What was that just then? Oh, burnt trade magazine and drugs! I'll take the drugs. You can keep your magazine. I want your drugs. That went well. Are we more up, perhaps? There we go. That's it. More rounds for us. And that is just the presentation room earlier. Not all that much here, really. It's just the standard kind of loot you'd expect from anywhere. And all the terminals are broken. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm guessing you're John. Hello, John. And we have this. Permanently inflict plus 2% limb damage. It's actually pretty good. It's a very nice passive. So, is there anything interesting on John's terminal? First of all, we have the clean room. All systems are normal. Well, that was pretty um, self-explanatory. Call from Kemp. It was a warning. We have to finish the project. Can't hold out much longer. Erica, please read. Just got a very strange call from Colonel Kemp. He asked us what the status of the project was, and when I explained that we were still behind schedule, he didn't seem angry like he normally would. All he said was that it was very important that I keep the team working in the lab today, and that I contact him as soon as the project was complete. It almost feels like he was trying to tell me something, but I can't imagine what. It was a warning. He was trying to warn me. They hit us with a nuke. The lab was built to withstand nearly anything but a direct hit, but the EMP has blown out all external communications. I told the team that there are training maneuvers going on around town, but I don't know how long they are going to buy that. I would need to find a way to get a hold of Colonel Kemp to see if they can extract us to a safe location. And then he needs to get a ham radio. I can try to reach them on an open channel. A bit of skipping there, not that that was getting boring or anything. There are looters everywhere and people fighting in the streets. I managed to find a radio and some supplies, but I caught a stray bullet in the shoulder on the way back. Between that and the radiation sickness, the past 36 shoulder... <laughs> the past 36 shoulders have been hell. Uh, all those shoulders. I finally managed to find the right frequency and get through to a military liaison, but he said that Kemp had left orders that, that they could only spare an extraction team for assets vital to war effort, like we found out earlier. If we try to have them get us out without the project completed, he'll have us executed for treason. I have to keep them in the lab. We have to finish the project. There's been a problem with the reactor. The shockwave from the initial blast must have cracked the containment lining because there is a growing leak showing up on the detectors in the lab. To make matters worse, Will has been trying to hack into the administrative controls. I've been working to keep him out, but I think the wound in my shoulder may be going septic, and I don't know how much longer I can hold out. 
Erica, I'm sorry. I know I haven't been the best husband, but I've done everything I can to try to protect you since the attack. If you are reading this, I hope it is because you have finished the project and can use the radio to signal for extraction. I can't hold out any longer. And so ends John. Internal mail. John, are you there? I haven't seen you moving in your office and we can't wait any longer. He's going to trigger the automated defense systems if we don't do something. We've managed to get into the crawl space and are going to try and take him by surprise. Despite everything that's happened, I still love you. I'm getting out of here, you son of a bitch. Do you hear me, John? <laughs> Sweary words. You may have... Yeah, you may have had connections to get this company started, but I was always the better hacker. If you don't release us, you'll leave me with no choice but to trigger the automated defences. We'll have to fight our way out, and Erica may be hurt in the process. Is that what you want? He's locked us out of the containment area. Yep, that's what we read earlier. Well, found out earlier. John, I don't know if we can do it. We've been working on the problem for weeks and we've not been able to find a way to prevent the nanoweave from falling apart under the strain of use. Even if we find a solution, it may take us days to program the new dosing pattern. And I don't know if I can cover up cover this up that long, of course, because she does know about the nuke. Even if I can, I don't know if it's the right if it's right for us to make that decision. Some of them have families out there and shouldn't they have the choice to try and protect them? Deleted mail. Very mean things. What's going on out there? You can't. You can't keep us locked in here. What are you doing? Is so. What you're doing is, is illegal. Not that it really matters anymore. Oh, need to get home to my kids. Sad face. Can't call out of the lab. Well, that's pretty much that, and I'm rather glad, honestly. Between the dyslexic nature and the weird font that Fallout uses, my eyes are absolutely killing me. So let's get back into my armor, which I've just left behind, and let's go ahead and hand in the codes to our little traitor. Uh, Desdemona has an op for you. Hello, Excellent Des. Excellent work. On our side, we've gone through your report. It was extraordinary. So many pieces of the puzzle clicked into place. Our final analysis indicates the Institute is far more formidable than we ever feared or imagined. If we stage a mass breakout, Patriot's 13 synths will undoubtedly be the last we ever save. Instead, we use this one chance to rescue all the synths. Every last one of them. Is that even possible? Hopefully, Patriot's core escape plan will scale up. If it can't, well, we'll deal with it as it comes. The Institute will never let their slaves go without a fight. So the heart of our problem is manpower. Even if we call in all our agents, and we will, we won't be able to hold our own against the Institute for long. Talk with C-114. If the synths down there want freedom, they must fight and risk their lives to earn it. I am mass rebellion. Z-1 seems capable of that. We always thought Patriot was the savior of the synths. But it may be more accurate to say that Z-1 is. As much as we owe Patriot, we can't be certain how committed he is. If he learns we're willing to kill to free synths, he may not have the stomach for it. So get what you need from him and then cut him loose. Good luck. We're all with you. So... That's the end game plan then? Get all the synths to rebel while inside of the Institute? get the agents into the Institute at the same time, mass rebellion, kill the scientists, free the synths. Then what do we do about the Brotherhood? Because they definitely have more than enough firepower to probably take down the synths we free and the brother- well, and the rest of the railroad. I was saying that though, the Institute has a lot of synths. And how many are we going to free? That's a really weird thing. I guess that's the big battle plan then. Kill the Institute from, from, from the inside, use the forces we get to attack the Brotherhood. Seems rather cool, and of course we'll be going up until the point of no return, which I feel is very close. But I'm afraid with all that reading and all of me stumbling over words, I have ran out of time for today's episode. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Fallout 4 is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we're going back to the Institute, seeing if we can incite a riot, or at least up until the point it makes us decide on our 
on our loyalties between the factions, and I promise there'll be a lot less reading. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.